Hey, what's up guys, John here. I bought a condo in Florida and it's gonna be my new office. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I'll give you guys a tour of the uh, new office. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about where I see 2022 going, the big opportunities. I'm gonna respond to Elon Musk. He says quarter one, quarter two, we're gonna have a big recession. And then the US Secretary of the Economy, the former US Secretary of the Economy under the Obama administration is saying that she thinks that everything is going to go great for 2022 she thinks that things are going to look really really good you know what i'm what i'm personally seeing right now is i'm looking at all the big changes what we're seeing is we're seeing you know 10 or 15 years worth of normal growth happen inside of a year year and a half in terms of when i say growth i don't mean traditional economic growth i mean growth inside of you know the internet where people are doing more buying and selling online and what i think is ultimately going to happen is I think if we step into a situation where we have, let's say, more restrictions, those restrictions are going to feed opportunity that's online. So I think online business is going to soar in 2022. You know, I was in New York City two weeks ago, and no, I was in, I'm in Florida now. And when I go into stores, I see the fear inside of the customer. I'm seeing this fear like it was a year and a half ago, right? Right at the beginning of all this. So to me, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a scenario where we could be stepping into more problems, right? So the smart entrepreneur right now sees this and they, they say, hey, okay, we're stepping into a high inflationary environment. They're talking about new stimulus checks. They're talking about um, stimulus throughout 2022. And then we have 35% of all US dollars printed inside of the last 18 months. If that happens again, all the smart money is gonna go to hard assets like it's already been doing. Right, And so we're looking at that, and then we couple this with the very low interest rates that we have right now. So if rates even picked up, let's say to three and a quarter percent or three and a half percent on a 30 year fixed, what ultimately is gonna happen is that credit card interest rates are gonna be going up, car payments are gonna be going up, um, housing payments are gonna be going up for people on adjustable rate mortgages. And then smart money is gonna go out there and acquire the assets, right? And so what I think is ultimately gonna happen here is I think that it's gonna be a move to the top, the move to the top in 2022. And so I ask myself, you know, what's, what's the best plan? What's the best strategy for 2022? What business could I build that is going to um, really benefit from all the changes? Because that's ultimately all we care about really, right? As entrepreneurs is how can we position ourselves best to seize the opportunity? It's gonna be buying really good assets, gonna be owning and controlling great businesses that are gonna prosper very, very much off of these changes. So this new business I'm launching, I'll, I'll talk more about it in, I don't know, two, three weeks when, when it's launching, but uh, essentially it's gonna be a small uh, lending business, small micro lending business online. When I say small, I mean the actual principal payments are gonna be very small, between 250 and $1,000, right? And so we're gonna be loaning in 18 states we just got our first approval, so I'm a licensed lender right now in Utah. I have pending applications in Missouri, Florida, Texas, and Oklahoma. And right now we're gonna be filing over the next 10 days in uh, about 12 other states. So hopefully by the end of all this, we'll be licensed in about, I don't know, 17 or 19 states. But by the, by the 20th is my target date of my first loan origination. So yeah, I'll show you guys the office, I'll show you guys um, you know, how I'm, how I'm doing all this, but what I think is ultimately going to happen is online businesses are going to crush it 2022, right? Online is going to crush it. I don't think we ever go back to a scenario where we had like 20, 2017, 2018, 2019, where, uh, you know, everyone was just going about their normal everyday lives. I think we're going to have more of this online uh, experience happen. And I think it's just going to continue to prosper. And right now I'm looking for people uh, inside of Florida that are, you know, uh, you can email me at support at this is John and I'll leave more information about the job description in the, uh, in the link below, but I'm going to show you guys kind of you know, how this is set up. So it's going to be, I don't know, I only have one light on, but we have one office, one little uh, desk right there. There's gonna be one out there in the patio area. There's gonna be one right there. And then there's a table there. And then 
there's two bedrooms back there. So there's gonna be room for probably five or seven people as a whole to work from. So five to seven people and, um, and yeah. But what I'm, what I'm ultimately trying to do here throughout 2022 is move as much liquidity, as much cash as possible uh, into hard, hard assets. So real estate, multifamily, farmland, uh, buying as much as possible to store the dollar. You know, I was in Target today uh, just looking at pricing. It was unbelievable. This inflation thing is a real concern. And the supply chain shortages, you know, when I saw what I saw today in the dairy section, uh, they looked like they were pretty low on almost everything. And then I'm looking at the pricing. It, it's, it's crazy. Some of the mugs were like 20 to $40. A little kid's mug was like 15 bucks or 12 bucks. Everything is insanely priced, right? So if you can buy hard assets and you can lock in these rates at 3% long-term and the dollar's dying by seven or eight or 10% a year, then you're gaining the difference and you're spreading out the risk. So it makes sense. I think hard assets are gonna be the future of 2022. I think cash is essentially like Ray Dalio said, cash is gonna be trash and the aspiring entrepreneur is gonna win. Traditional business models, I think are gonna have a very hard time in 2022. The brick and mortar businesses, especially places like LA, Seattle, uh, Boston, Philly, um, LA, like all, all, these, all these cities are gonna have a hard time running their business because of everything that's happening. But the online business is gonna be the thing that does the best. So if you are an aspiring entrepreneur, or you wanna start a business, this is the time because what's gonna happen is advertising prices are gonna go through the roof over the next couple of years. And there's less competition today than there will be tomorrow. So thinking big, thinking of this big opportunity, like me right now, trying to build out, you know, one strong, strong new business at a time to take advantage of all the change because we don't have any real other alternative. Right now, I, I have two kids. I look at how it will be for them compared to how it is for me. You know, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to build something big than say in 15 years or 10 years, 20 years for my children to do the same thing. So this is the moment, this is the opportunity. And I, I really am looking at other states as well where I'm gonna invest and where I'm going to, um, you know, where I'm gonna try to expand and explore. But drop your comments below. What do you guys think about 2021 and 2022? Do you think we could see a situation where, uh, you know, we have that fear come back and we have more restrictions and we have all of these new changes, all these new modifications happening inside of the economy to where maybe things start closing up again. Or do you think that everything is gonna continue growing? I personally, in 2022, one thing is, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna talk about anything that is, uh, is not um, you know, based around uh, prospering. So like, uh, that's one of my things this year is, I'm completely, I'm just like done looking at the news. All of that is, uh, I'm just gonna ignore it and just make as much money and focus and invest as hard as possible and ignore all of the stuff from the mainstream media. So all the stuff that they're talking about, uh, all these big changes, all I'm gonna look at is the bottom line and the dollar and uh, is focusing on investing well to make smart decisions. I mean, this place, I bought this place, the interesting backstory on this, I bought this place so cheap because my dad came out to Florida and um, my wife just had a baby. He wanted to come visit. He met a lady at the front desk of the hotel and her friend's mom passed away and they just wanted to get rid of the property. They just wanted to get rid of it. Um, they weren't so much focused on the price. They just wanted to sell it fast. And I provided a very quick, clean escrow and um, that's it. Close the transaction. I actually have it on the market right now and uh, it's on the market for 30% more than I paid and have an offer, or we had an offer, we countered back, I don't know if it's gonna stick or not, but yeah, I mean, the market's just crazy. The market is insane. But one really big thing, one really big learning lesson that I've learned in 2021 is that uh, relationships and connections and having your name out there and having people around you that know you and like you and trust you and have done business with you, you know, all these things matter. So building up a really good reputation, a really good brand, is so crucial. I mean, the relationship that my dad formed 
with the lady at the hotel um, segued a relationship to where I could come in and buy the property. And without that, I would have never been able to buy this deal traditionally on the MLS if, uh, if everybody else was out there. So it's crazy. Big opportunities though, big opportunities coming in 2022. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about the opportunities in 2022 or where you see things going. Hit the like button. I'll see you guys later.